Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMo. Today we have an interesting algebra problem. We need to simplify this. We need to find our answer to, to the 40th power minus 100. So on the first side, this question is really hard because we have 2 to the 40th power, which is a really huge number. But what are we going to do in our case? I want to suggest you a really good method how to solve it. So let this 2 to the 40th power will be 2 to the 20th power square. And this 100, of course, we can write as 10 square. So 10 square. So as you can see, we'll have difference of square. So a square minus b square, which is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So as a result, we can write this as 2 to the 20th power minus 10 and times 2 to the 20th power plus 10. So as you can see, we have a product of two parentheses. If you find one parenthesis, we will easily find second parenthesis. Just add 20 to this. But take, let's Simplify this. Let's find, of course, this parenthesis and we will easily, after all of this, we'll find this second parenthesis. So let's calculate these parentheses as well, at first. What we'll have? We'll have 2 to the 20th power minus 10. I write this right here. 2 to the 20th power minus 10. Let's use the same logic. We can write this 2 to the 20th power as 2 to the 10th power square, 2 to the 10th power square, and minus, of course, square root of 10 square. Using the same logic as right here. We have difference of square. So let's use this formula as in the beginning. So what we will have as a result? As a result we will have, I write this under this, all of this, we will have the 2 to the 10th power minus square root of 10 times 2 to the 10th power plus square root of 10. So what are we going to do next? Let's multiply all of these parentheses. But moreover, we know that this 2 to the 10th power equal to 1024. We know that 2 to the 10th power equal to 1024. Not a huge number, and it's really good to know about these numbers. So 2 to the 10th power equal to 1024. What we will have as a result? We will have in two parentheses. 1024 minus square root of 10 and times 1024 plus square root of 10. So let's multiply these parentheses. What we will have? We will have 1024 times 1024. Multiplying first with this. Then we will have plus square root of 10 times 1024 and minus square root of 10 times 1024. So we can cancel these, these expressions. So we'll have square root of 10 times 1024 and minus square root of 10 times 1024. So we can cancel this, this expression as well at first, and in the end we will have plus 10, or minus 10, minus 10, because this is a formula a square minus, minus b square. So we will have minus 10 in the end, minus 10. What we will have as a result? We will have 1024 times 1024 and minus 10. 1024 times 1024 and minus 10. 10. This is our our answer, but not this is not the end because we can we need to find this this expression 1024 times 1024. How can we solve it? How can we find this expression using the same logic? So let's under all of this we will find this expression. Let's write this 1024 as 1000 plus 24 and times 1000 1000 plus 24. As a result, as you can see what we will have, we will have 1000 times 1000, it will be 1 million, we will have 24,000 plus 24,000, we will have plus 48,000, and plus 24 times 24, it will be 576, plus 576. So this is our product, and we need to write a minus 10. But in the end, I want to simplify this, this expression. So as a result, we will have 1,048,000 and 576. And take a look, this is this product, and we need to write a minus 10 right here. So as a result, this is final answer will be equal to 1,048,000 and 560. Six. So take a look, this is our answer about first parentheses. 
So this is our first parenthesis. 2 to the 20th power minus 10. It's not hard to see that 2 to the 20th power plus 10, it will be, so we will have plus 10 and plus 10 once more, so plus 20. So as a result, we will have our, our answer. We will have that this parenthesis is equal to this, 1,048,000. And 566. And multiplying by, we know this parenthesis, and we if we add 20, so 20, 10 times 10 plus 10, we will have our second second element of product. We will have times 1,048,000 and 586. So we find two parentheses, and in the end we need to multiply this. So let's do this. Let's multiply this using the same logic as right here and as right here. So let's express this 1,048,566 as, in our case, it's really good to write this as a parenthesis of 1,048,566 So this is our first parenthesis. And let's write, using the same logic, our second parenthesis. So as a result, we will have 1 million plus 48,586. So we need to multiply these two parentheses. Using the, this rule, we multiply parentheses by parentheses. As a result, as you can see, what we will have? We will have 1 million times 1 million. I write this as 1 million square. What are we going to do next? We will have 48,566,000 and we add this, this expression. So as a result we need to add this and this and we will have our answer in, in millions. What we will have? Plus, I write this using the next way. We will have 48,586, first, first this one, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And we add under all this, add this one, this expression. So as a result, we will have plus 48, we will have 566, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0. So add this, this expression, what we will have? We will have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right here, what we will have? 1, 5, 2, and right here we have 90. Seven. So this is our second element. And in the end, we will multiply this 48,566 and times this 48,000 times 166. This is the last element of this, of this answer. So let's add all of this. In the end, what we'll have? 1 million square. We will have 1 trillion. So I write it 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, and once more, 0, 0, 0. <clears throat> so this is our first element. We need to plus this. So plus, we have 97 milliards, so what we'll have? 97 right here, 1, 5, 2, and 1, 0, 0, 0. <clears throat> and the last one, the last step, we need to add this. This times this. I multiply this real quick by the using a telephone because it will be a really long video and this step I want to write on I wanted to multiply in calculator because we can use the same logic as right here but I want to I don't want to do this because this is our third third case using this logic I don't I don't want to multiply in this right here because I don't have first of all enough space so I multiply this by this using a telephone so as a result we will have two three five nine 6 to 7 and 6, 7, 6. And this will be our answer. If we add all of this, we'll have plus, plus. We need to add all of this expression. So what we'll have? We will have 1. Of course, right here we'll have 1. Nothing changed. Right here we will have the same, 6, 7, 6. Right here we'll have 6 to 7. Right here what we'll have? We'll have 1, 1 as well, and 5. And the last step, 97 plus 2, it will be 99. So what we will have? Our final answer. This is our final answer. We will have 
one trillion ninety nine million five hundred eleven million six hundred twenty seven thousand and six hundred seventy six. This will be our answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you if you like be with me till the end because it's really important for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting subs up. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. It will be really interesting to read it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.